what I'd like to do is show you work with you guys on a problem on a, a problem in absolute value functions. All right. Now remember, absolute value functions is probably best and easiest told when we're looking at a number line. And what we can look at in our number line, let's say we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's say this is zero, that's at negative three, and that's at three. Well, if I was going to say what's the absolute value of negative three, I still move over three units, so that's equal to three. And then the absolute value of three is still, again, going to equal three. So either way, no matter what, if it was the negative or positive, the, the absolute, the, the distance, the total distance I move, regardless of what direction, was still three. Now, when we're solving an absolute value function or an equation here, what we see is we don't know the value of x, right? We don't know if that x is a positive or if that x is a negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve for it both ways. And the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to write x plus 10 equals 4x minus 8, and then the negative x plus 10 equals a negative 4x minus 8. So then from here, what I can do is now I can just solve from x using my techniques that I um, know for solving equations. Because what we're saying is <clears throat> I want to find either the positive or the negative value of, that, of the absolute value function. So I'm going to subtract an x on both sides. 10 is equal to 3x minus 8. And then I add an 8. And I get 18 equals 3x divided by 3 x is equal to 6. Over here, I'm going to have to distribute my negative sign. So I get x plus 10 equals a negative 4x plus 8. Subtract the 8. x uh, plus 2 equals a negative 4x. Huh. Yes. And let's see here. Then I can subtract my x. And I get 2 equals a negative 5x. Divide by 5 and a negative 5. Therefore, x equals a negative 2 fifths. And when looking at that problem, so what they're saying is if I was a plug in 6 and a plug in negative 2 fifths, both those would go ahead and satisfy back this absolute value of the function. You get the exact same uh, answer when plugged them in for the absolute value and for equal to the OSR.